here is our third example of a gradient field of a function f. What can we say about f? Um, first of all, we can say the same thing we've said twice before, that f is a function from r2 to r. Remember, r is always the case because f is always a scalar function, and r2 because this has two dimensions, because the vectors are two-dimensional. So what else can we say? We can see that we have used the depiction where the vector heads are all the same size. And what can we see? We can see two holes. There's a hole here and a hole right here. That means that because they're holes, the gradient is zero. Those are stationary points. So what can we say? Let's see which one is this. This is x here and y here. So 0, 0 is a stationary point, and 1, 1 is a stationary point. But they are different kinds of stationary points. This one is easier to look at. All of the arrows are pointing away from the point. So most probably, this point is a point of minimum. Here, however, we have an interesting situation. We have vectors pointing out, these. Those vectors are pointing away from that point, but these vectors here are pointing towards the point. This is the line y equal to x, so we're seeing that we're gonna get a maximum along that point, but along the line y equal to minus x, we're going to get a minimum because, so what can we say about this point? We can say that it is a saddle point, most probably. We can see that the vectors are getting bigger, so as we get farther and farther away from these points, our growth should be faster and faster. So the growth is increasing as we get away farther away from these points. Let's see the other depiction. To me, this one was harder to read this time. It was harder to see exactly what was happening. Maybe the growth was easier to see, but it was harder to see the empty places. Let's see the function it came from. We did this function, if you have been watching the other videos, when we talked about stationary points. We found the saddle point and the minimum. And there's the function and there's the gradient. And there's the cool contour map. I really like this contour map. You can see right here where the saddle point is, and you can see right here where the minimum is. And then I like this so much, I wanted to put one on top of the other to actually see that it's a gradient field. And I know it looks like a giant cactus, but still you can see that at every point, the gradient vectors are perpendicular, are normal, to the contour lines. And that's an important feature of gradients. They're normal to the contour lines. So that was a fun one. There are the Mathematica commands for this.